Good morning guys. So I actually never ended off my vlog for yesterday. So I apologize. I think it's out of focus. There we go. Um, I never finished off the vlog in the nighttime. Meg and Jeremy are over right now doing some hey editing. Hey guys. And I am about to make a smoothie. What is it, guys? Welcome to Koi's Corner. <laughs> and I wanted to show you guys um, how I do it because I remember last week. Hey. Keep it down over there, all right? I wanted to show you guys how I do it because last week I told you that the next time I made one on camera, I would show you it, so. Here's the ingredients. I like to use frozen berries always. I also like to use something else, like, like a tropical blend works nicely. This is actually Alex's, but I like it because this one doesn't have bananas and I don't like bananas, so yeah. Um, and then I use almond milk. So we got some right here, and then I like to use a little teensy, like I just kind of throw in a little dash, I don't measure them, of hemp seeds as well as chia seeds. I don't go overboard on these because, I don't know, I think they kind of make the smoothie really gritty if you do, but it's good to, you know, use them. They're very healthy for you. Sorry about my voice, by the way. It's sick and also tired because I just woke up a little bit ago. And then, a little secret. Hey! Hey, what is going on over there? <laughs> They're playing. A little unknown secret is to use a teensy dash of cinnamon as well. It is pretty, pretty good. Just don't, as I said again, don't use too much because then your smoothie might taste a little, a little too cinnamony. I just started doing this last week. I do like a teensy bit of blue agave, uh, which is basically just like a little sweetener, a natural one. And then I've never actually used this before because it just came in the mail last week. But this is my new protein powder that my trainer recommended for me. It's the Plant Fusion. Um, it's like like a complete plant protein and I got vanilla bean so I ordered that off of Amazon and I'm gonna do one scoop of that so I'm gonna put everything in and I'm gonna blend it up so let's do it and I just like the way it's going like the way it's sounding like it when you're telling me feel this well this was kind of a failure showing you the smoothie because it tastes weird because I've never used the protein powder in it before and I feel like it's not bad it's just like weirdly vanilla-y sweet I think because the protein powder I I had to use a decent amount of it and it's vanilla bean let me know what you think it would be good in I guess or maybe it's just weird with like what I decided to put in my smoothie today but that is my smoothie recipe but I would say you don't need the um plant protein other than that, it's, in my opinion, delish. I just got a package in the mail and it came just in time because I ordered these sunglasses with express shipping so they would get here before Bahamas and they did. My white sunglasses that I've been wearing, I, and I swear like so many vlogs, the ones that I got recently, those were pretty inexpensive. They were $20 and they actually broke. Um, and I was really sad and I saw these sunglasses um, at LF, they're by Wild Fox a few weeks back and tried them on and was in love with them and I thought they would look so nice with the bathing suits that I got for Bahamas and I just basically really wanted them so I did express order them from Wild Fox look at this crazy boy and also my room is a disaster it's mostly just like I have a suitcase over there I have a suitcase over here and I need to do like unpacking and laundry and there's also a ton of clothes on my closet floor but I've just I haven't been home so I've been you know not really worrying about that but it's not important back to the sunglasses cute wild fox gives a little a cute little card that's my receipt this is my box and then wild fox has the best sunglass cases squirt is very oh my god he's so into it he's like Rough. We just went on his morning walk and I think he's still a bit, you know, excited about that one. Anyway, look, it's like a heart. And then it's taking a very long time to actually open these up for you guys. <laughs> All right, this is them. And I am obsessed with them. They're half black and half white and they're called, you can see the name, right? Whoa, what is he doing? He like is very into them. They are called the Twiggy, and they have them in other like shades. They have them in solid colors and stuff, but they're basically a circular glass. Guys, what is going on? 
what's going on. I feel like these are a very like statement glass and they can't just be worn at all times. They like need to like complete an outfit or a look. Hello friends. I have fluffy, fluffy just out of the shower and then convertible hair. But um, we are Fresh here, out the we are here at the, what exactly is like the name? The Self-Realization Temple. Or Center. Yeah. What was it? Something like that. But. It's very calm up here. We drove up into like a the hilly mountain yeah. e area. I nature. think that's the temple, to be honest. Really? You think this yeah. is it? I don't know. But there's also just like a lot of pretty flowers over here. Like, look at look over here. There's also a really nice view. Oh, this says administration building. Should we scope out in here and then we'll go over there? That is beautiful over there. That's We're going over. Ugh! Very loud, sir. A loud man. How are we supposed to be at peace yeah. when you're mowing the grass? I don't know. Okay, well, let's scope it out, guys. Guys, look how pretty. This is like the rose garden area over here. And then we have this little area. Oh, it's such a beautiful day too. It feels Amazing. so good, huh? So basically she was saying that people just kind of come here to meditate and to relax. And it's such a like quiet, beautiful area. There's some cacti over here. Let's go exploring over, over here. Wait, look at the Oh yeah, look at this. <laughs> so pretty. Check it out, guys. Oh, I'm taking my mom here when she comes um, to visit in like two weeks because she would absolutely die. <laughs> so beautiful. I wasn't able to really film when we went up into the place just because I didn't feel like appropriate doing that. It was super quiet and people were kind of like, meditating and doing their own thing, but we have some cacti, live cacti. <laughs> car lighting going on here. I look like a freaking psycho, man. <laughs> but I was just telling her, I was like, oh my god, I haven't vlogged the whole time I've been with you, and I've also been forgetting, because for the past uh, few hours, I've been super busy. Ever since I was with Ollie, I went straight home, and I had a session with my trainer until I had that from like 6 to 7, and then I had a nail appointment right after that, which is where I met Elaine. We got our nails done, yep. and we caught up and stuff, and I did return back to the acrylics. So I got blue, and I've never had them this shape before, actually. I was inspired by my darling Marissa, Marissa Lace, because she has like little tiny pointy acrylics, whatever shape you want to call this. I got them for the same reason that I got them off, because my nails, my natural nails now are so weak that they keep breaking, but like they break so low on the nail that like it has to kind of like rip off 
and then the nail is so short and it looks so bad afterwards that they just look terrible so might as well just have acrylics over that like and keep them short kind of short I'm just not gonna get them as crazy long as I used to have them because they would just break anyway I like them a lot and so I did that and then I went straight from that appointment to my a spray tan appointment and I'm so tired now I'm like falling asleep and then me and Elaine went to this restaurant that hold on guys we have to rave it we have amazing. to rave if you are in the Culver City area this place is called the Wallace we went in we didn't even look at the menu we sat down and the menu was like it's kind of one of those like <laughs> So weird I don't know if I can even say weird we just like, like every all of the ingredients are very yeah like every dish the way they described it we were like we don't even know what these ingredients but are so good but everything we tried was unbelievable we got dessert we got like two appetizers and then we got like for three appetizers or something oh we enjoyed yeah, so much we so got a lot of stuff it so was so good. good sweet potato Sweet Things. potato, what were they? But something with know. sweet potato was really We got good. some sweet potato-ish. We got some like popovers. Those are amazing. Those and then we got this like, thing. this like pita with all of these different spreads. Like a bacon spread? <laughs> a bacon, bacon spread. spread so good. And a hummus and some other tomato-y maybe one. I don't know. Basically it was amazing is what yeah, we're saying. <laughs> and I'm just, my stomach's like so happy right now. So, we're driving home now. Elaine is gonna meet Squirtle. I know. So excited. Ah! And we're gonna hang out with him for a little bit and then I need to start on my packing because <laughs> I'm waking up probably around probably before 5 a.m. tomorrow. So ah. hello, I'm so sleepy right now. So excuse my drowsy deadness. But I just finished. I wouldn't say I finished. I'm like I laid out and got everything that I'm packing for the Bahamas out and I wanted to show you guys um because I lied it all out for you before I'm going to attempt to fit it in this pretty I mean I'm not gonna say it's very small because it's actually a very spacious bag but I'm hoping I can fit all of my stuff in it because I just really don't need like a giant heavy hard shell suitcase this is what I have <laughs> I don't really know if it's gonna fit in there, but I have high hopes and I could I could limit some things if needed But I kind of wanted to just show you guys an overview of what I'm packing So bathing suits are here. I have like a sun hat some sunglasses and stuff And then this is the bag that I like to keep my travel jewelry in and then I have another hat and some swim like cover-ups and stuff and then I have an outfit um, this is a romper and a belt that I haven't even tried on together, but hopefully that will look good But I'm definitely gonna wear the romper one day and then this is like my new nasty gal flowy ivory shirt and some High-waisted shorts to wear with that and these are some dresses and stuff this one this one's new It's a halter dress from American Apparel and then I just have like a couple other like night stuff or like dinner outfits and stuff um this is just like where i keep my bras and underwear and one of these cubes and then this is like hair tools and a couple hair things that's my bag that's going on the plane so i might be able to squeeze a couple things in there if i need to i have one sweatshirt i have a few pajamas a sweater for at night i have one workout outfit and my shoes and an actual workout that my trainer um, gave me which is awesome this is the one we did tonight it was really really intense <laughs> I have some shoes over there and then I have two purses sunnies and the bag that I'm gonna try to fit everything in so guys I somehow did it um, I think I am gonna be just checking this bag because I really don't want to lug this around the airport <laughs> um, it actually is it's just kind of like very large like <laughs> Look at me holding it. It's just like a gigantic bag, but I am happy that I fit stuff into a bag that isn't a giant suitcase. So I'm so tired. I am waking up at like four or something, showering and heading out the door. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I'm so excited for our trip and yeah, I want to say good night. Thank you for watching. I love you. You say it's good night too. And we will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog in the Bahamas. Good night.